Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you two methods of retrieving your Windows product keys and actually a whole bunch of other things using two different products which have very different aspects or ways of actually achieving a similar goal. One of them is rather inflated and does lots of other things as well. One of them is pure and simple and very portable. So today we're going to take a look at the Bellarc Advisor, which some of you may have used before. It's uh, been around a very long time. Very good piece of software and very handy for retrieving your Windows product keys and other keys for system software. Also, for those of you who want something a little bit quicker and a little bit easier, we're also going to look at the RJL, Windows Product Key Viewer, version 2.0. That is as of the time of recording. So this is August 2024. So obviously, depending when you're watching this, there may be newer versions out. So first of all, let's take a little think about some of the pros and cons of the two products. So with the Bellarc Advisor, some of the pros, we've got the fact that it is a dedicated installer and also it does automatic updates. So if there's any new technology to actually delve into your system to find out these keys, then it will get it for you automatically. Also, Bellarc is extremely detailed and will give you a whole range of other system information, such as security status, whether you've done updates and all the information about your PC system in general. Another pro is the fact that it is free to use for home users. If you're using this in a business environment, then you do need to purchase a license. Some of the cons of the Bellarc are the fact that it is a little bit too detailed. So if you just want to retrieve your Windows product key, there's a whole lot of other stuff that goes on and also the installation process, which is basically going to take a little while to do, especially if you do the network analytics, which can take anywhere up to about five minutes. So if you just want a quick and simple one, then you might be better off with the RJL software, of which the pros of that is the fact that it is compatible with Windows 95 right the way through to Windows 11 and potentially further on as well. Another thing is the fact that it is a portable piece of software and also I find it to be pretty accurate. Some of the downsides of this particular piece of software are the fact that it is basic, so it's not going to give you the full information, just uh, the basics, and the fact that in some instances it can throw up false positives when being run. Due to the way that it delves into the system registry, it can appear somewhat virus-like in its usage, so do bear that in mind. I've actually used it on multiple systems and I've had no problems whatsoever and it has been used by other people and also is promoted on sites such as Major Geeks etc which is a very trusted organisation. So with all that said let's head over to the computer, we'll show you how to install them both, give them both a spin and we'll take a look at the keys that it can pick up. Now something we should also mention on here is when it comes to Windows product license keys there are various types which we've covered in depth in various videos but the kind of the main thing is, if you have physically installed a Windows key into your machine, i.e. you've had a piece of paper or you've had a license key printed on a computer and you've actually manually typed it in yourself, then there's a chance that you will be able to recover it. In certain instances, if you've installed your computer using a Microsoft account, using just the generic installation and it's then activated itself digitally, there's a very strong chance that you'll have what they call an RTM code, which is just a generic code it doesn't matter, it still will have Windows activated, but it's not one of those keys that you can just type in to get an activation. It's kind of done with activation on Microsoft servers. Also, you will find that there are some computers which actually have the keys actually embedded into the UEFI BIOS on the machine. This is more common on laptops, especially from some manufacturers such as Dell, etc., who have obviously a lot bigger access to these types of things. So don't worry if you cannot find your license key, it may be the fact that one just simply doesn't exist on your machine. So with all that said, let's head over to the computer and take a closer look. So first of all, we'll take a look at the Bellarc Advisor. So I'll put some links in the video description. It's not affiliated or anything, so you can just go there. It is free to use for home users. As you can see, let's try a free demo. So you can go to the Advisor download or click on free demo, whichever you want to do. Try for free. And now you can download the Bellarc Advisor. Now I've already done this previously, but normally it will ask you for your email address, your first name and your last name, and potentially a company name if you want to. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on download Bellarc Advisor. You can save it to your desktop. I've already got it saved there, so I'm not gonna bother with this because we've already got it. So we can minimize this now, and let's take a look at the installer. So we'll double click the installer. You'll get the user account control notification come up. So just click on yes and it will begin the installation process. This won't take very long at all and you do have to agree to the terms and conditions. It's quite a quick thing to do. Now at this point as well, you can see 
or you can at least give it the options. Would you like to check for new advisor security definitions? Entirely up to you, and you can choose to remember this choice and not ask again. So if you choose not to, that's fine if you choose you want to, because again, with this Bellarc software, you can actually do other things such as check your security status of the device you're running it on. So I'm gonna click on yes. So now it's downloading the new definitions and now it's taking a snapshot of the system and it will come out with all the information. Now this particular PC is one which is using a Microsoft account, which I have signed into and has activated via that account. So I have never actually entered a license key into this particular machine. So it isn't actually gonna find one. And actually while we're on this screen now, it says here, checking local network of the computer. So this part will actually scan your entire network for other devices to give you information about that should you wanna do it. If you want to, you can skip this step and then you won't see that information. So I'm gonna skip it. And there we go. We get our complete computer summary of everything which is going on. And you can go through this section on the left-hand side. So you've got the software licenses, software versions and usage, missing updates, USB storage use, hosted virtual machines, your network map. Like I said, we skip that. Installed hotfixes. And you got back to top as an option. So let's go to software licenses. And we can see here, got the Bellarc Advisor, our Microsoft 365 account with the key, it says none because it's activated. And then it's got the Internet Explorer and also the Windows 11 Professional. They're gonna report back the same keys because this is the generic license key. So if for some reason you would need to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 Professional and you need a key, you can actually use these. These are what are known as RTM keys. This will allow you to install Windows, but it won't actually activate unless you've got a Microsoft 365 account or your hardware matches a predefined key which is set in the cloud. So I'm not too concerned about showing that. So there we go. There is our RTM license key. Again, it tells you all of the things, software versions, software you've got installed and the versions, all that kind of stuff. So pretty handy. And also if you're into security, you can check out to see if there's any missing updates. Again, very detailed information on there should you need it. And of course, if you go back up to the top, it will tell you other things like if uh, you need to know what type of processor you've got, how many cores it's got, all those kinds of things, all this information is laid out as you can see. So there we go, that is the Bellarc Advisor. Pretty decent stuff and very useful. Of course, if you want to, you can go ahead and actually print out that page, keep it for safekeeping, should you ever need it later on. Shame there isn't actually a dedicated print key or print button just so you can print it out easily, but okay, you can just copy and paste it should you need to. So anyway, that is the Bellarc Advisor. So let's take a look at the RGL software, Windows Product Key Viewer version 2.0. Again, this is completely free and it gives you an idea of what it does on here. So yeah, it's a very straightforward and simple thing to do. So in order to download it, just click on the download and you've got the option there of downloading the zip file. So let's go ahead and do that. Of course, you can also donate to RGL software, should you wish to, choice is yours, that is optional. So we'll download the zip file, you get these pop-ups come up, so we'll uh, get rid of that. And then we can choose where we want to have our download. So I'm gonna save it to the desktop. Now that's going on, so we can minimize that. This is a zipped folder. So if we right click on it, we can choose extract all and extract it to a new unzipped folder. So in here, we've got a readme file, and also there is the winproductkey.exe. Now the winproductkey.exe can run portable, so you don't actually have to install anything. So if you want to, you can go ahead and copy and paste this onto your USB tools drive and keep it for safekeeping. You can obviously take this wherever you want to, put it into any PC, Windows-based at least, and retrieve the license keys. So let's give it a go. So it says here, Windows protected your PC. This is because this program will actually delve into the registry. So it appears like it potentially could be a virus and mainly because it's got an unknown publisher. But this program is absolutely safe. So we'll click on run anyway. And then you'll get the user account control. So we'll click on yes. And there we go. It's a very simple and straightforward interface. And again, it's given you all the information that you need and actually slightly more than Bellarc in some respects. It tells you your uptimes and sort of things like that. Again, our Windows product key, which is listed here, is the generic RTM key. So feel free to use that one if you want. I'm not gonna bother blurring it out, but it will show you in who's logged in and also your Microsoft Windows account name. 
it calls it Windows Live here, which is a little bit of a throwback to yesteryear. So that will be blurred out, so you won't see that. But you've got your installation time and date. So we installed this on the 13th of the 5th, 2024. And you can see how long it's been up. You've got all the other machine IDs, etc. there. So this is really useful. And again, something they've done, which I like, is the fact that there is a print option. So then you can just print this out, put it into your motherboard box or something. So keep it for safekeeping. So if you ever need to do a reinstall with this particular hardware configuration, you can have your Windows key in the motherboard box or obviously keep it wherever you want to or even print it to a PDF and store it into one of your online repositories or on your NAS, that kind of thing. The choice is entirely up to you. Again, very handy and the fact that it is portable is a great thing. The only downside being is obviously if there's any updates, then you will have to download the update and update the version you have on your flash drive or your mobile storage. So there you go, two very simple ways of retrieving your Windows activation product key. And also in the case of obviously Bellarc, you can get a lot more detailed information on other programs which may be installed as well and other potential security issues that may be going on. Let me know in the comments section, which of these two do you actually prefer? Do you prefer the power of the Bellarc Advisor giving you all that information? Or do you prefer the simplicity of the Windows product key finder version 2.0, which just is pure and simple and gets down to the brass tacks of what we're actually trying to achieve? Be interested to hear your thoughts, simplicity, or a little bit more power. Anyway, I've been on for way too long. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, smash the like button. If you wanna see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and also the bell notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.